it's graduation day. All this fuss for something super special, in my opinion, because Lelia Zip is coming into a pot. Because look at the roots attaching themselves now to the hob filter. Before they get too entangled, she is going in a pot, ready to grow on. Woohoo! Hi! Thank you so much for joining me on this. This is exciting for me, especially when it is a division of one of my orchids. So what I have in mind is my little typical seedling cup. And normally I would use ceramis, but I'm going to do akadama today instead. I have filled the bottom of the container just to crock it a bit for no other reason but to save on akadama, which is much more expensive than garbage, rubbish, what I call dirty leka. These are the shards and bad leka that I've picked out of the two bags that I had bought recently and I'm not well pleased with. So, first things first, let's mix up a little bit of the akadama together with some terrarial grit to make it a little bit more airy and not clog things up too quickly. I think I have enough, time will tell. I just need a little bit. I'm doing like a 30% to 20% ratio of grit. I don't want to handle it too much. My akadama is dry today for reasons, because I don't want it to break down and become too muddy too soon. Because break down, it will. And then, before we do anything else, I'm gonna fill up the pot. To about half. And we'll see how we take it from there. I'm going to flush the pot out because I want to make that akadama wet. And get a base color and see what I'm up against. Good thing we can take out the floaty bits. That's pretty clear to me. That's fine. It's not as dirty as I expected it to be. This is plain RO water. All right. Looking good so far. Now, for a little bit of an operation here, maybe, maybe not. I don't want to tease the roots out too much of this hob material. It is, after all, inorganic. But that was pretty easy, so we'll get rid of that and have a look-see at our roots. Let's go, let's do it this way. Very careful. Look at that. Yeah, Lelia Zip 2.0 coming up. I've already put my support in so that I don't jiggle the orchid too much when it comes time to fill up. And now I'm just gauging the height. Because my idea is to leave it a little bit lower in the pot to allow for more humidity around the base. And then once the roots get down into the media, I can be squeezing the little cup and raising her up bit by bit if I see the roots growing and happy going down. And then I can raise the orchid bit by bit as is convenient. This way I have more humidity around the base. And we shall see if this works out really, really good. Now, very, very carefully. Let's get the support around the orchid. I was going to do my little link things, but this is not link thing time. There is to be absolutely no movement for the next coming month, at least for the next coming month. And now we shall water her in a little more, very carefully around that new growth. 
This is just to moisten the Akadama on the top and around the roots. I took this division late winter of 2020 and I'm super pleased how well it worked out in my little ICU with a hob material. And then she gets a shiny new label with ninja orchids on it and the day that she was potted up. That is going to do just fine. No more fiddling here. This is now a transition phase into a semi-hydro, but for a seedling. And let's have a look-see. Final result, a little bit lower in the pot, a little bit more humidity. There's another root growing over there, which we can monitor. And let's see what happens from here on in. Lelia Zip has graduated. Woohoo! Special, special day. Thank you everybody so much for tuning in, for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this little video. I certainly did. I was so looking forward to doing this because bye bye, another ICU. That's what I like to see. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Take care. Bye. Yeah!